Hi everyone, Dom Designs here and welcome back to a new Illustrator tutorial. In today's video, you will learn how to draw Game Boy Advance as a flat design vector. Alright, so for starters I will be using a 1920 by 1080 pixel canvas. I will bring in my reference picture of the Game Boy into the document, which I will leave a link in the description below. Next, I will turn the reference image into a template. This will bring the opacity to 50% and lock the layer. Let's go ahead and create two layers. One will be the outline and the other is the color layer. For the outline, I will be using a black stroke with a 10 points thickness with rounded caps and corners. Let's begin drawing the outline. What I will do is create a straight line down the middle. Since the drawing will be symmetrical, I will draw the left side first and proceed to reflect it later. Let's start by drawing straight lines with the pen tool. For the bottom part, I will hold shift on my keyboard and curve the line like so. We will now round off some lines using the Curvature tool. Once we are done, we can select the Direct Selection tool and click on the points and round them off. I will now move over to drawing the bumper at the top with the Pen tool. Now I want the button to be on its own closed shape, so I will reconnect the shape back to the start. Let's divide it by using the Shape Builder tool. I will select the two overlapping shapes and bring up the Shape Builder. I'll just click on the button shape that we want and then I'll delete the unwanted shape. I will then finish off the button with the Curve tool and round off the points. Alright, so we're done the left side, so let's reflect it. I'll select everything and bring up the Reflect tool by clicking O on my keyboard. I will then Option or Alt click on the middle and reflect it to the right. We will then unite the middle shapes by clicking the Unite in the Pathfinder panel. Perfect, now let's draw the screen with the rectangle tool. Make sure to have it centered. I will then create a second rectangle for this gray part around the screen. We will need to curve the top and the bottom of this rectangle. So first, let's indicate the center point by bringing up our guides. You can do Command or Control R on your keyboard to bring out the rulers. Then click and drag a line directly in the middle. Now that we have indicated the center, we can bring up the curvature tool and drag a curve at the top and at the bottom. Awesome, so let's continue with adding the buttons. I will use the rectangle tool once again and duplicate it by doing Command C and then Command F. Rotate it and then unite the shapes with the Pathfinder tool. For the round buttons, I will use the ellipse tool. As you can see here, we have this rounded rectangle shape connecting to the button. So I will duplicate the circle and delete one anchor point with the direct selection tool. I will then connect the shape back to the circle with the pen tool. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure to then close down the shape using the Shape Builder tool by clicking in the grey area. Alright, now let's add this top part right over here to give it that 3 dimensional look. What I will do is select the main Game Boy shape and duplicate it by holding option on my keyboard and dragging down. I will then cut the shape with the direct selection tool like so. Just keep that top left part. Then I will use the width tool to taper off the end of the strokes like so. So I went ahead and added all the logo and text to the illustration. This part was simple as all you have to do is type in the text and find Google images and then add them to the Game Boy. Now let's add some details to the direction button. I will create a circle and some triangles here. Awesome, so we are done the outline, now let's add the base colors. So what I will do is select every closed shape on the outline layer and copy it down to the color layer. I do this by holding Option or Alt on my keyboard and dragging the red square below. I will then lock the outline layer. And then all you have to do is switch the stroke to a fill and give it a base color. In my case, I will give it a bluish purple. I will do this for all the closed shapes on the illustration. So we have the base colors out of the way so let's spice it up with some shadows and highlights. For starters, I will do some details within the direction buttons. I'm going to select the circle in the middle and do a copy and paste in front twice to create three shapes superimposed on each other. I will then select the top shape and move it down creating this half moon gap. Then let's select the top two shapes and divide them using the shape builder tool. 
Finally, give that half moon gap shape a lighter color, creating a highlight. I'll do this for all the triangles as well. So now we are going to add highlights and shadows to the main console. I'll give the top left part of the illustration highlights and the bottom right would have shadows. Just as we did earlier, I will duplicate the main shape twice. To go quicker, I'll do a command C followed up by command F twice. Let's then bring the shape down like so and then divide it using the shape builder. I will then give the top a light purple color and I'll do the same for the bottom shadow. Let's just complete the illustration by adding circular highlights and shadows. This is my style preference, no need to copy me here. And there you have it everyone. This is how to draw a Game Boy Advance as a flat design in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did, please drop a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers everyone!